Hi, welcome to Instructor Allison Online Tutorials. Today we're going to look at organic chemistry. And please subscribe to my channel. So before we talk about organic chemistry, we need to understand the concept of chemistry briefly. We know by definition that chemistry is a branch of pure or natural science that deals directly with the composition, properties, and the uses of matter. Hence, organic chemistry in the scene can also be defined as the structure, or you can see as it can be seen as the structure, uh, composition, properties, reaction, and preparation of carbon containing compounds. And most organic compounds contain carbon and hydrogen. That doesn't mean it contains only carbon and hydrogen. They also include any number of other elements like nitrogen, oxygen, halogen, silicon, etc. But in this tutorials, we're going to focus on hydrogen and carbon. In order for us to delve more deep on that, we will understand the concept of hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon. So what is a hydrocarbon? Hydrocarbon is an organic compound consisting of hydrogen and carbon only. You can see hydrogen, hydro, and also carbon. So it is an organic compound that consists of hydrogen and carbon only. And an example of hydrocarbon, or we know that hydrocarbon uh, falls under the group 14, hydrides and also they are generally colorless and hydrophoric or hydrophobic naturally if you know hydrocarbon to be hydrophobic with only a weak color all these things are concerned both on the physical and the chemical properties of hydrocarbon but we are not going to go in that direction. We are concerned about areas where students are having challenges. And that is we knowing about the classes or the classification of hydrocarbon. And when we talk about the classification of hydrocarbon, it is classified into, uh, let me use this chain formation. It is classified into two groups. One is the aliphatic, aliphatic class, and the other is the aromatic class. Like we know, aroma, sweet smell, and then aromatic class consists of uh, both the essentially the ring chains. Okay, and the example of that is when you consider the benzene. When you consider the benzene or the cyclopropane, all of that falls under the group called the, the aromatic. But before we consider the aromatic, let's face the aliphatic class of hydrocarbon squarely. Okay, in aliphatic class of hydrocarbon, this also is classified into three form one is the alkene this also another one is the alkene the alkene and then we also have the alkyne okay briefly let's talk about the alkene class of aliphatic hydrocarbon We will not be concerned about the physical properties and the chemical properties of arcane. We are going straight to the necessary things that will be useful or be needful in these uh, tutorials, which the first is talking about some of the physical properties. And number one is it has the it has a general formula of CNH two N plus two. Arcane has a general formula of C subscript N, H subscript 2 N plus 2. Okay, and it also, it consists of single bond. It 
consists of single bond another essential property of a cane is that it eats it is a saturated hydrocarbon and in most cases in exam problem they may ask why is a cane an unsaturated hydrocarbon if you just answer that it's because it consists of a, a single bond the presence of single bond makes it a saturated hydrocarbon okay so under a cane we have what we call also the homologous series that follows the successful pattern of this uh, a cane family and the first series is the methane the first series is the methane we have also the second series which is the ethane ethane we have the propane we have the butane we have the pentane oh, we still have the hexane we have the heptane we have the octane we have the nonane and then we have the decane so all of these and more are the homologous series that falls under this arcane family and met here means one et means two prop means three boot means four pent means five hex six down to ten some of you are familiar with a polygon if had of pentagon hexagon heptagon and so forth the n flows from the family name arcane so you should take care of this and all of these things consist of single bond in a compound so if i'm able to get the i'm able to get this st the structure of this before i can get the structure of this methane i should be able to understand how to get the empirical formula we have three types of formula here we have the empirical formula we have the molecular formula and also the structural formula if i'm able to get this empirical formula of this methane and then i can get the structure and if i if that is to be achieved we know that methane from what i said earlier met means one so applying one to the general formula of arcane we will have c subscript one anywhere we see n we can substitute with one we have h into two multiplied by one plus two and then this will give us ch two times one is two two plus two that is four so we're having ch4 this tells us that every carbon atom consists of four hydrogen atom okay so at that point if you want to get the structure this is the empirical formula the empirical formula which is the simplest formula so from the empirical formula we can get the structure of these uh, methane and that will be this carbon atom bonded with four hydrogen atom okay so again methane has other of its chemical and uh, physical properties that is not really our focus in these uh, tutorials so again Having understood a bit of a uh, arcane, let's see how we can do justice to arcane and also arcane in the next slide. So we have the second, we have the second class of aliphatic hydrocarbon which is arcane and arcane has a general formula to be ch c subscript n h subscript 2 n this is the general formula of arcane again it consists it consists 
of double bond. It consists of double bond, which makes it which makes it an unsaturated which makes it an unsaturated hydrocarbon so we also have the homologous series that follows the successful pattern of this arcane which the first member is the Akin, we have the Akin family. One is the 18. The second one is the propene. And someone may want to ask, why don't we start with methane? In this case, the same way we started with methane when we are talking about the Akin, Akin family. The reasons is judging by the or owing by the general formula of our kin, if we had something called the methane which we know that met is one and we substitute that into the general formula which is c subscript our met is one h into two times one and this will result to c h two and we also, from our previous slide, we established that each carbon atom must consist of four hydrogen atoms. So this is the reason this does not support what we established. And if you are to draw the structure of this, one carbon atom having two hydrogen atoms, it does not make any sense, which is why there is no methane in the system so but then we have 18 and 18 we know that it means two so when you substitute that to the general formula anywhere you see n you substitute two we have c2h two times two and this will give us c2h4 okay so if we are to draw the structure of this empirical formula of 18, then you can see that it consists of two carbon atom and four hydrogen atom. Remember it is 18 and one of the characteristics of this 18 is that it consists of double bond. Okay, so we will we are, we are, be left with only one hydrogen to make it up to four. We have one, two, three, four. And you can see that from our initial point that one carbon atom must have four hydrogen atoms surrounding it. You can see here one, two, three, four. This carbon atom also has one, two, three, four. So which is why it has to start with 18 propane. We have the boot, booting down to the king. So those are things you can easily complete them. Okay, so the last one we're going to consider. Last one we're going to consider is the is the alkyne. A kind has a general formula to be C N H two N minus two. It consists of triple bond, triple bond, and it is also an unsaturated hydrocarbon. Unsaturated, and the first member of the homologous series is the a time we have also the propine we have the butine we have the pentine etc so we can easily get the empirical formula of this a time and also the structural formula 
and one way we can achieve this is to use the general formula which is c subscript x means 2 so we have c subscript 2 h subscript 2 times 2 minus 2 and this will give us c subscript 2 h 2 times 2 is 4 4 minus 2 is 2 so this is the empirical formula of a time and the structural formula of a time would be this has carbon catenating with another carbon and we have two hydrogen atom then since it is a time remember one of the characteristics is triple bond so we have triple bond and this makes this expression complete you can see that we have four hydrogen atom bonded with this carbon and also four hydrogen atom bonded with this carbon that makes the structure complete in our next tutorials we're going to see the skeletal uh, structure of any of these uh, homologous series we are going to see also some functional group starting with the 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 alkyl group we we'll talk about the alkyl group we we'll also talk about some functional group which includes the alcohol alcohol we we'll also talk about the alkanol the aldehyde the ketone the carboxylic acid and all of those uh, functional groups and then alongside we're going to talk about the IUPAC nomenclature of naming organic compound then we conclude the class with isomerism and that is what we'll consider in our next lecture series thank you for enjoying instructor lesson online tutorials please subscribe my, my channel